Please welcome Dr. Lisa Nijam. Hi, this is Dr. Lisa Nijam from the Ascaris Film Committee, and I'm here to give the awards in the category of in-house production. I've got the envelope for the winner of the best film in in-house production. Can I have a drum roll? And the winner is Tinkles for Capsular Wrinkles, Demystifying Zyndler's Support, Dr. Kumar Doctor from India. Congratulations, Dr. Kumar. The entire committee was singing your jingle. Well deserved. The anterior capsule will show the wrinkles and she will try hard to extend and just run off. You're not careful, she will desert you. And to the equator, she will quickly take off. Lie the capsular hooks, engage the CONEs. These are the life boats which are worth every penny. It's a great honor and pleasure to have received this award. At the onset, I would like to thank the Almighty, all the judges, and all my co producers who have helped me with the film. All of you who made these films know it's a lot of hard work. It's almost 80 to 90 hours to make one such film. I would have loved to come up the stage and give a speech, hold the lady in my hand, but because of these tough times, I wish all of you safe, be home, stay safe, and all the best for the future. God bless us all. The zonules are a series of fine fibers that connect the crystalline lens to the ciliary body. The function of the zonules is to hold the lens in place. The zonular fibers arise from the pars plana and from the zonular plexus in the valleys of the ciliary processes and proceed to form the zonular fork, which forms the zonular limbs, anterior equatorial and posterior, finally inserting into the lens capsule. The signs of panzolunar weakness are well described in literature. The present video aims to demonstrate and discuss the signs of selective anterior zonular weakness, namely the capsular wrinkles, and selective posterior zonular weakness, namely the capsular flutter and the PC radial sign and their management. Let's demystify the zonular weakness And sing some jingles for the capsular wrinkles Let's demystify the zonular weakness And sing some jingles for the capsular wrinkles What if only the anterior zonules are weak Then my dear friends you all may be left shell-shocked during capsular axis, notice the wrinkles of the anterior capsule beyond the rexus margin. These take place because the anterior zonules are weak and there is no counter-traction. A cohesive OVD may be used to prevent rexus runoff. In such cases, one has to take care during cortical aspiration and such bags may need an additional support with an endocapsular ring. Show the wrinkles And she will try hard to extend and just run off If you're not careful She will desert you And to the equator she will quickly take off What if the posterior zonular limb becomes lax Then surely the PC will bulge forward and become slack Once the cortex is out you During cortical aspiration, 
Note the movement of the posterior capsule and its flowability with the cortex. As the cortex is stripped from the posterior capsule, there is neither any movement of the posterior capsule nor a flutter, thereby indicating strong posterior zonules. If the posterior zonules are weak, note how the posterior capsule follows the aspiration probe as the cortex is stripped off. Once the cortex is stripped off, note the fluttering of the lax posterior capsule indicating weak posterior zonular support. Yet another case of a posterior capsule flutter. Another case of selective weak posterior zonular apparatus. Note the fluttering of the posterior capsule upon the introduction of the IA cannula. When the cannula exits the eye, note the forward bulging of the lax posterior capsule along with the appearance of fine radial lines which is the PC radial sign. These disappear as the capsular bag is inflated with an OVD. Here we postulate on removal of the irrigating cannula, the deflation of the capsular bag causing the posterior capsule to bulge forwards in areas where the posterior zonules are weak while it is held back in place in the areas of intact posterior zonules which gives rise to the radial folds or lines which we call the PC radial sign. We further postulate that such bags when reinflated with an OVD the PC radial sign disappears. Such bags should always be strengthened by placing an endocapsular ring for better stability for premium IOLs. If you encounter this, please do not fear. Gently inflate the bag with an OVD Stabilize the PC, dropping the anchor by placing in the bag a sturdy CTR. What if all the trees on your limbs become weak? Then surely the surgical scenario does become bleak. It's the right time to stay calm and not panic. Because the lenses are sinking Titanic. In cases of panzonular weakness, where there is a subluxation present, one can perform a femtoassisted rexis with a fragmentation of the lens. The capsular hooks will support the subluxated area till the phonics of the lens. This is followed by safe phacoemulsification in the bag. Followed by the placement of the endocapsular ring in the bag. In cases where the subluxation is more than 6 clock hours after phacoemulsification, a Sioni's ring can be used to secure the capsular bag to the sclera, followed by IOL implantation in the bag. To deploy the capsular hose Engage the Sionis These are the lifeboats which are worth every penny Try best to salvage an intact capsule bag So that an IOL can be glided in the bag To summarize, the presence of capsular wrinkles while performing capsular rexes is a sign of selective anterior zonular weakness Use of a cohesive viscoelastic prevents the rexis runoff in such cases. The novel PC radial sign and the floppiness of the posterior capsule causing it to follow the aspiration probe during cortex removal are signs of selective posterior zonular weakness. This floppy posterior capsule should always be stabilized with an endocapsular ring. Iridophacodonesis, a crescent sign and irregular anterior chamber depth are signs of panzonular weakness. Capsular hooks, Sionis and Emmer segment should be used to perform a safe in the bag phacoemulsification followed by an IOL implantation in such cases. 